What's going on guys, it's Brian Pickwitz here, BP Fitness, and I'm coming to you guys from Marina Del Rey in Los Angeles, California. So it's been an exciting trip for those of you who know. Lindsay and I are finalizing our move to the Los Angeles area. And I want to talk to you guys about something because everyone has this notion that being obsessed is a bad thing. And we hear negative connotations to obsession. Oh, he's obsessed. She's obsessed. But I want to talk to you guys about whether or not you should be obsessed and whether or not being obsessed is a good thing. In my opinion, it's an excellent thing. I think that anyone who achieves massive success in anything in life is obsessed. You look at some of the best, you know, entrepreneurs, you look at some of the best athletes. These people are not people who are just dabblers. They're people who are obsessed. And I want to relate that to you because if you want something that's going to be a massive transformation in your life, if you want something that's going to become something more than just the status quo, you need to be obsessed. And so for me, you know, I'm going to tie this into, you know, how we got here. We got here because I was obsessed with making it happen. And, you know, I remember I was in a relationship before, um, you know, I started dating Lindsay and I, I would hear the, you know, person I was dating would always tell me, oh, you're obsessed with weightlifting. You're obsessed with body lifting, bodybuilding. All you care about is this and that. You know, all you care about is this and that. And there's the same that has transferred over to me working with clients. I hear clients, you know, tell me that some people will target them because they're just obsessed with whatever they're doing. And my thing is, it's an incredible thing to be obsessed as long as you control it, you know. I was completely infatuated with becoming, you know, someone who lived in Los Angeles. I was completely obsessed with making it happen. And that is why I got here. And so for you, if there's something that you want to do, you need to be obsessed with it. You know, Grant Cardone, who's one of my favorite entrepreneurs, talks about be obsessed or be average. If you want average results, average results do not come from being obsessed. Average results come from doing a 12-day cleanse. Average results come from working nine to five. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with working a job that you have to work because I have had to do it in myself you know I used to work three jobs when I was in school to have to pay for school and be able to you know actually afford the college I went to but what I want to tell you is you need to be obsessed with something else you need to be obsessed with something that makes you feel inspired you know I think that it's like 80% of people hate their jobs that's because they're not obsessed with what they're doing you know there's so many things that we are told that we have to exist within you know we have to exist within this confine and we can't love what we do or if we do there's something wrong with that because of the way other people are going to perceive us but there's nothing wrong with you going out on your own and deciding that this is something you want to do so my advice to you today is that you should be obsessed if there's something you want to do in life be obsessed with it you know I had a client who was writing me you know this is one of my older clients um, he's almost 50 and he's been working with me for the last four months and he's lost almost 30 pounds and he's completely transformed all his habits and he told me today he's like you know it was weird because beforehand I might like skip out in the gym the other day I had a busy day I was seeing all these people I was you know doing my thing and I was in this position where it was like five at night and everyone's like okay let's go to the bar and he's like you know what no you know, I know it's summer, I know you guys are here, but I need to go to the gym. And he's like, I'm obsessed with it, it's just part of who I am. And that's what I want everyone to get to. I want you to get to the point where you can set a goal like, you know, five years from now and say to yourself, I want to be doing that. And become obsessed with pursuing that goal and doing what it takes because you will never achieve something that is as big as you want if you're not obsessed. You guys, look at where I am right now. I'm living in this place where I've always wanted to be. I'm existing in this space which I've always wanted to do. I'm pursuing exactly what I want to. And the reason why I'm telling you that is not because it makes me feel good, because there's a mountain I'm still climbing and I still have so far to go. But I'm telling you this because there's something that you want to do. If you become obsessed with it, it can bring you anywhere. It can transform your life and it can make it so that you become the person that you want to become. And so that's my message today. You know, Some people might say that being obsessed is a bad thing. I think you should be obsessed because obsession with something that's good for you and something that produces a result that you can give to others is going to make it so that you, you can grow. And nothing ever existed that was positive in a comfort zone. You need to step out into that zone. You need to decide to commit yourself to something greater than just what you're doing right now. And if you do that, incredible things are going to come your way and you're going to be able to not only transform your life but you're going to transform everyone around you you know you have an impact on other people i put something on facebook the other day that was essentially 
If comfort is your goal, you will have zero impact on your own life and the other's lives around you. And I think that's true. And I think it's the same with this. So I'm not telling you, you have to go out and become, a, you know, a, obsessed with weightlifting. I'm not telling you that you have to go out and, you know, completely go all in and invest in trying to make this business thing that you're doing work. I'm telling you that you need to start finding a passion and decide that you're going to go all in on pursuing that passion even if it's just doing a little bit extra every day. You know, the people who work with me, I've almost worked with 300 clients now in the last two years. And the clients who get massive results are the ones who go all in and decide that it wasn't a matter of figuring out the right diet. It wasn't a matter of figuring out the right training. It was that they were done, you know, sticking with what they were supposed to be doing for a status quo. And they decided to go all in on themselves. And that's what I want you to do. Whatever it is, whatever you're pursuing, go all in, Decide right now that this is your time and you will win. You will win. And so this is Brian Pickowitz coming to you guys from Marina Del Rey, Los Angeles, California. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Let me know what you're obsessed with in the comments below. Give me some feedback. I want to make this a, a broader conversation. I want to help you guys out whoever I can. So leave some comments. Let's start a discussion in the comments below. But if you guys are new to the channel, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And at the end of the day, I will see you in the next video. But let's keep making successful gains one rep at a time. Boom, Zeus.